Hey guys, welcome to another episode on CVR POV. In this episode we're going to be looking at some front end stone chip repairs and in this episode we're going to be working on a Bentley. This video is going to be really useful, uh, it's going to save you some money and it's going to make your car look better. So pretty standard stuff on any used car, it's obviously going to pick up stone chips and road rash on the front end and down the side skirts, around the rear bumpers and this method can be used on all those areas. As you can see this Bentley's picked up quite a bit of road rash on the front of its bumper which also sort of blends into the wings on these Bentleys so if we were have to have them resprayed it would obviously be really expensive because you're talking about a full front end respray. So all I've got here is an old microfiber cloth and I've also got some solvent base coat which has been colour matched to the car. Now one of the important things with this method is, I'll just get it out of the way, is this method works better when the paint has not been thinned down. Okay, so I, I'd normally call it neat paint, which it is, so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit thinned down, but when you're talking really watered down paint, you're just not going to get the filling properties that we need. So now what we need is some cutting compound or cutting paste and this particular brand is Freckler G360 and the uh, paint gear products sell this in 100 gram form which is what you can see in the video just a really handy little bottle so you ain't got to buy the the full size bottles which can be quite expensive so I've left the paint rubbed into the surface for about five minutes under normal temperatures and now I'm just spreading some of that compound around and I've got the buffing machine on it so we can start to try and remove the excess paint. Obviously what we're aiming for here is that the once the panel's been buffed that the paint that we've rubbed into it, the excess is removed and hopefully some of the little chips and the road rash has been filled by the paint um that's that's what we're aiming for really so in other videos i've speeded up the polishing process but i've not in this one because i've had quite a lot of comments people suggesting that i'm trying to be uh untruthful about the finish and that it's not a real before and after because i've skipped the video so what i'll do in this video is i'll make sure it continuously runs so we can we can have a good look at what's going off and there's no trickery going off so as you can see that section had been buffed off so we're just moving on to another section now obviously when you're doing any kind of machine polishing especially with a rotary which is what we're using now you've just got to be conscientious about any swage lines or curvature any hard edges on the, the panel that you're working on such as you can see in the bumper I'm just making sure that I'm not leaving too much of the, the buffer on those angles obviously what we don't want is any kind of burn through or strike through on the paint because ultimately it will probably need a respray anyway if we burn through the paint so as you can see I'm really working that cutting paste into the paintwork uh, and as it's breaking down it's removing the excess of the paint that we rubbed into the surface. So I'm just having a quick inspection now. So yeah we're onto the a more fiddly section so I've just got my little polisher out. I could have used the big one but just for the video purposes and just to make sure I wasn't you know catching any areas that I don't want to uh, I've, I've used a little polisher so the same kind of thing I will recommend that preferably you use something that spins rather than something that oscillates so you know you want to be using a rotary polisher rather than a DA or orbital sander uh, the same with the mini polisher I mean even a drill I've done loads of videos using a drill that's better than using something that that doesn't spin so that's looking pretty good but I'm inspecting all the time and I'm just making sure that all the paint's been removed so we'll move on to the next section um, it was pretty heavily chipped in all the areas of the front bumper but this side was slightly worse I think so we're just going to repeat the exact same process on the other side of the car I won't show all the polishing of this section you get the idea I was just showing that both sides of the bent is being done
So once that's been done and we're happy with the finish, we're obviously going to be left in nearly all cases with some larger chips. So I'm just using some of the Paint Gear products colour coded to this car paint that you can order off their website. It's www.paintgear.co.uk. There's links to all these things in the description, so check that out after the video. So really we're just going round the sections again and we've rubbed all the polish off all the paint excess has been buffed off so now we're just very neatly going around with a with one of the paint gear brushes we're just going around filling them larger chips in just so we're not left with any white marks which which obviously detract from the overall finish there's obviously multiple ways to touch in chips that's entirely up to you I like to use these brushes, I think they're really versatile, you can get a really really minute chip and you can also push the paint around a little bit with them, so that's down to preference. Again, these are paint gear brushes. So we're just going around all the areas, we're just touching in them last few bits. There'll always be some left, you know, the method of before with the rubbing the paint, it, it tackles the road rash pretty well. but. I always like to manually touch up the the other chips. Now, if you had enough time and you felt like doing it, and I've done videos on it before, and let's say there was some larger chips, you could always go around filling those chips up with some paint and then leaving it and building up the areas and perhaps maybe doing a little wet sand and polish, but we're not doing that in this video. But as you can see, look at the results, and it's something anybody can do. Uh, this. Bentley, as you can remember at the start of the video, it was absolutely peppered with chips. It was really detracting from the finish and obviously it's a nice car and it doesn't need to be looking like that. The customer collected it and he was absolutely over the moon. He thought that he was going to have to have a full front end respray and I think he'd been quoted £1,500 English money. So he was he was over the moon that, you know, he's kind of got his car back. I charged him a fraction of that price and uh, yeah, it looks great. That's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Please leave a comment and please, most of all, please subscribe if you don't already subscribe. Thanks for watching.